Imagine a city not of brick and stone but of steel and sea gliding across the endless blue. This city moves carrying no parks or schools but towers of colorful containers stacked to the sky. Inside these boxes your shoes, your phone, your morning coffee, everything you use quietly crossing oceans. This floating city is a container ship, one of humanity's largest machines, a world unto itself. It's a vital, unseen artery of global life connecting continents and delivering the goods that fill our homes. For weeks the ship's only companion is the horizon, the sky above ever-changing, the water below mysterious. Yet on board, a small diverse crew forms a unique community, keeping the ship running and navigating its course. They are the invisible hands moving the world's economy, one nautical mile at a time. The ship has its own neighborhoods, the bridge, the engine room, the accommodation block. Each area has its own rhythm, its own life. The ship groans and hums, a place of immense power and quiet solitude. It's a testament to human ingenuity, carrying the weight of modern commerce across the sea. The journey is long, months at a time crossing oceans and time zones. The crew witnesses sunrises in the Atlantic, sunsets in the Pacific, and stars city dwellers never see. They face calm seas and fierce storms, measuring life in watches and waypoints, not days of the week. Life here is detached from land, governed by the ship and the whims of the sea. This is the story of those who call this moving metal island home, far from shore. Their world is one of routine and unpredictability, isolation, and deep connection. They are the silent giant's caretakers, journeying across the world's wildest frontier, Every voyage is a new chapter in the ongoing story of global trade. This is life aboard a city on the sea. Welcome to the world's most important journey. The size of these ships is staggering, true leviathans of the modern world. Picture the Eiffel Tower laid on its side, the largest container ships are even longer. Four football fields end to end, over 60 meters wide. These ships are moving islands. A single ship can carry over 24,000 containers, enough to stretch a train for 90 miles. Inside electronics, clothing, furniture, food, millions of items from every corner of the globe. The ship's anchor can weigh as much as three elephants. Every part is built for strength and endurance. This immense scale is all about efficiency, moving vast amounts of cargo cheaply and reliably. It's cheaper to ship a t-shirt across the world than to mail a package across a state. These floating giants are the backbone of our global economy making modern life possible. Their size isn't just impressive. It's essential to how our world works. They are the unsung heroes of our interconnected lives. Without them, the shelves in our stores would be empty. Despite their size, these ships are run by just 20 to 25 people, a tiny crew for a massive vessel. Each crew member is essential with no passengers or bystanders. The crew is a floating United Nations hailing from all over the world, united by skill and teamwork. English is the common language, and the mess hall is where stories and cultures mix. The captain holds ultimate authority, with clear roles for deck and engine departments. Everyone knows their job, ensuring the ship runs smoothly. Out here, hundreds of miles from land, the crew becomes a tight-knit community. They celebrate birthdays, share meals, and support each other through long months at sea. Simple moments, movie nights, barbecues, laughter turn strangers into family. They are firefighters, medics, mechanics, and friends all in one. This small village afloat is their world bound by shared purpose and isolation. Together they keep the ship and global trade moving. Life on board is both challenging and deeply rewarding. Life at sea runs on routine, watches, shifts and constant work 24 hours a day. Crew members rotate through four-hour watches ensuring someone is always on duty. Living quarters are compact but private each with a bed, desk and bathroom, a small slice of home. The mess hall, gym and recreation room are vital for morale offering space to relax and connect. Food is a highlight, three hearty meals a day, with menus reflecting the crew's diverse backgrounds. A good cook is as valuable as a good engineer. The ship is stocked with months of provisions, a floating pantry ready for any journey. Maintenance is constant, deckhands battle rust and salt, engineers monitor machinery. Every task, from tightening bolts to plotting courses, is crucial for safe passage. The sea is unforgiving, demanding vigilance and teamwork. Hard work and routine define life here, set against the epic backdrop of the open ocean. Each day blends into the next but every crew member plays a vital role. This is daily life aboard a city on the sea. Deep within the ship lies its heart. The engine room, hot, loud and alive with power. The main engine is colossal as tall as a building with pistons that dwarf a person. 
Engineers navigate a maze of pipes and gauges, monitoring the ship's vital signs. The roar is constant, the vibration felt in your bones. This engine generates over 100,000 horsepower, turning a propeller the size of a house. It pushes the ship and its cargo across oceans at 20 knots. The engine burns vast quantities of heavy fuel stored in massive tanks. The engine room is also a power plant providing electricity, fresh water and more. Engineers are the doctors of this mechanical giant, ensuring everything runs smoothly. Their vigilance keeps the ship moving, lights on, and cargo safe. The complexity is staggering but the team knows every valve and gauge. Without them, the floating city would grind to a halt. The engine room is the beating heart of global trade. High above the bridge is the ship's brain a quiet focused space with panoramic views. Here the captain and officers plot the ship's course and monitor its safety. Modern navigation relies on digital charts, GPS, radar, and the automatic identification system. ECDIS displays real-time maps, hazards, and shipping lanes with pinpoint accuracy. Radar and AIS reveal other ships land in storms, even in darkness or fog. Technology is powerful, but the human element remains vital. Officers constantly scan the horizon, watch for dangers, and listen to weather updates. Experience and judgment guide every decision, especially when technology fails. The bridge is a blend of high-tech tools and timeless seafaring skill. Every voyage is a test of both man and machine. Safe passage depends on vigilance, teamwork, and expertise. The bridge is where the journey is shaped, mile by mile. It's the nerve center of the world's floating cities. Life at sea is a world of contrasts. Immense beauty, profound loneliness, and constant challenge. Months away from home mean missing family milestones and enduring isolation. Internet is a lifeline but connection is often slow and fleeting. The sea itself is unpredictable. Storms can batter the ship for days, a humbling reminder of nature's power. Piracy remains a threat in some regions adding tension to certain voyages. Yet there's unmatched beauty. Sunrises over calm seas, star-filled skies, dolphins and whales alongside the ship. These moments are the rewards for enduring hardship. Camaraderie is the glue, bonds forged in shared work danger and isolation. Crew members rely on each other completely, forming deep trust and friendship. In port, their time ashore is brief before returning to sea in their floating community. These invisible seafarers are the lifeblood of global trade. Their journey connects us all, unseen but essential. This is the reality and the wonder of life at sea.